Okay, I found another interesting uh, fact here. Um, I had mentioned before when I did a, a video on connectors that these uh, PL uh, 250, 239s, yeah, 239s um, were only rated to 300 megahertz. And the end connectors were rated to uh, 18 gigahertz, if not better. Um, and so I was going to measure something that I needed to use an adapter and I was getting a funny result. And I thought, oh, well, maybe that's because of that 300 megahertz thing. So I thought I'd just, uh, just test it so I didn't introduce any errors by using a connector. And so I have matching sets here. So I have uh, a male, uh, a female, female, and then another male. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these together like this. And so it turns it into a BNC, BNC. Um, and I have the uh, identical uh, setup over here with end connectors. Um, so if this were 50 ohms and this were 50 ohms, then they really, you know, they'll enter a little bit of problem into the, uh, into the calculation. They'll, but uh, uh, they should basically do the same thing. Uh, they're about the same in physical length and, uh, and everything. And uh, so uh, I set up the uh, uh, I set up the nano with a, a coax here so I can connect. And I've put in a phase delay, so uh, everything should be okay. So we're starting over here at an open. And so I'm going to first test it. I have a, uh, a regular B and C. And a good load, so I have a so now I have a female a, a load, and I'm going to stick that on there, and you can see that the Smith charge is right in the center, and our return loss is less than 20 dB, all the way to a gigahertz. So the 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 test setup. So whenever you do measurements, you should always try to measure something you know first to make sure your measurement setup is correct and, el and eliminate any problems with the measurement setup. So, so now I know the measurement setup is correct, okay? So now, instead of uh, this little piece, I'm going to put in the, uh, the end connector one, okay? So let's put that in instead. And uh, so now I have all of that in there. So on camera, yeah, all of that in there. And you can see, look, it's perfect. It's uh, Smith charge is perfect right at the center, and our return loss again is is below um, below below minus twenty. So basically, the stack up of end connectors uh, and the little uh, BNC thing those are equivalent. Okay, and so now I'm going to put in the uh, PL two fifty nine two two thirty. 259, right? I don't remember the numbers now. <laughs> anyway, that you know the you know the connector. I'm gonna put that in there, and yeah, take a look at that. It's not uh, it's not doing really well. There's a whole bunch of uh, extra stuff in there, and if you take a look at where the 20 dB um, return loss is, it's right at 300 megahertz. So yeah, below 300 megahertz, it's fine, but above 300 megahertz, it ain't fine. Um, so I guess 300 megahertz is mm, true. Uh, you don't want to use those things uh, anywhere above 300 megahertz. They, uh, they don't look good. 